Okay guys, welcome to our first set of notes. Um, we did this in class, but in case you weren't here, you need additional, um, an additional look at them, they will be online. All of your notes from now on will be done in this fashion at home. Remember guys, fill out the packet, make sure all the um, fill in the blanks are done in the margins and the reflection at the end. Remember now in your margins, you can do main ideas, keywords, um, guiding questions or pictures. Okay, so today we're looking at history. Why am I even in this class? What's the point? Why do we need to study history? Well, first let's look at three different definitions of history. Uh, the first one here is that history is the study of the human past. Anything that's human and has happened in the past. History is the flow of events happening one after another, leading from the past to the present. Okay, same sort of thing, just a different way of looking at it. A third definition that we have here says, a discipline that records and interprets past events involving human beings. So, when looking at these three definitions, we have to ask ourselves, is studying history important? Is it no way, not important at all, eh, kind of important, or very important? Now remember, you're talking to a history teacher, so obviously the correct answer for this one is going to be, uh, it's very important. Okay, we have a quick little fun video to show you. Um, it's set to a Coldplay song, but really it goes through the different reasons as to why it's important that we study history. So it's a couple minutes long, about three minutes. Please watch it, um, and then the rest of the notes will discuss things that we saw in the video.
So let's talk about some of the things that it said in that video as it was showing you all of those images. Um, hopefully you could see it well enough to depict there are lots of different historic images in there, some recreations, um, some things from Hollywood movies, but either way, uh, it was a nice array of different historical events. Um, okay, so why bother with history? Well, most importantly really is that history is the window into the past. It's how we see what happened before us, before we were alive around this planet. Um, understanding the past is key to understanding the present. Okay, so knowing what happened before us will help us analyze things that are happening today. Um, and it keeps us better informed in current events, right? A lot of kids will say, oh, I don't watch the news, I don't know. And sometimes it's because really they don't have the background knowledge um, to fully understand what's happening around the world. Also, it helps us appreciate multiple perspectives and interpretations. Lots of times throughout this year, we're going to look at a um, historic event and look at it in more than one angle, right? What was the British side of the Revolutionary War as opposed to the American side? Um, also, guys, analyzing history strengthens our critical thinking skills. It's going to make you smarter. And it helps us recognize patterns and trends. This is the old saying that history repeats itself. So if something's happened in the past, you know, it might happen again. So recognizing those patterns will help us deal with it. You can apply information from the past to analyze and solve problems in the present. And it gives us an understanding of people and their culture, right? Everything about um, cultures from around the world is usually influenced from things that have happened in the past. Um, and here's a nice um, example also where it says history gives us the excitement of discovery and the reward of solving real world problems. And also guys, part of history is civics like you took last year and learning about the government can help you become more model citizen. And like I've sort of mentioned before, let us not forget, history is fun, whether you think so or not. Um, and just in this little quote down here also, it said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Oops. Okay, so let's look at this quick question real quick. Um, let's check our understanding of what we've gone through so far. It says, which is not a reason that we study history? A is to learn from the past. B is to strengthen critical thinking skills. C is to try to change it, and D, to help you become a more model citizen. I think this one is pretty self-explanatory. Um, hopefully you guys came up with C because obviously you can't change the past. Wouldn't that be nice if you could? Okay, so how do we learn about the past? How do we know about the stuff that happened before us, right? We weren't, none of us were alive to experience the Revolutionary War, so how do we know what happened? Um, basically, it's about primary and secondary sources, right? This is how we find out, and we'll talk much more about this in class. Um, if you have any other questions, see me about them, because it can be a little confusing. Um, and some other examples would be through archaeology and artifacts and oral history. Once again, all of these things we'll discuss a lot more in class. All right, another little comprehension check here says, how do we learn about history, right? Do we learn about history through a time machine, through the government, through artifacts, or through a periodic table? And if you are listening to the very last slide I just went over, you will know that the answer is C, artifacts. And once again, just a quick little refresher that we talked about from the first week of school, um, which one is not one of my classroom rules? Uh, that I dismiss you not the bell, that um, you come in and go directly to your seat, that you show respect for others at all time, or that you only talk um, in your groups when directions are being given. And hopefully you guys got the answer is D because when directions are being given, you shouldn't be talking. All right, the last one was just for a little bit of fun. And I'm pretty sure that that concludes these set of notes. So you've got one down and the rest of the year to go. Thanks for sticking with me.